performance measures, I'll give you x. And I'll, if you exceed my performance measures, I'll give you x plus y. That's, that's what I think is the future for meaningful, take it to the bank, fiduciary representation. That's the kind of pitch I'd like to make to the Obama administration and HUD to say, buyer agency works because it works. We can show you the money. And better that the money come from the private sector than from the taxpayer. We're done with bailouts. Do you get do you get compensated at the end? Like so, for example, if if you work with a buyer and they just don't buy a house in your area, do they not compensate you at all? Just like I, I have, agent at all? Just like I, I have, agent? I have all three. I have everything so at you, this you table. I have traditional, okay. no money up front. I have a, a you know sort of a red pin style. Uh, minimum rebate, and then I have the pure hourly fee. The hourly fees go from 150 an hour with no retainer to 75 an hour with a $3,000 retainer. Talk, talk about percentage of uptake of your clients. Which, is, is, it, is it a 30% 30, 30 split roughly? I'll tell you what's 95% is just people watching the market. Most of our buyers have been watching two to five years. And I think there's, you know, if we're talking about alternative and really jumping and jumping and jumping, Within the, I would say within the next two years, we'll see firms listing buyers. You guys might be the first. Newspapers might list buyers. I can tell you I advertise on the open house search page. I can, right. my question you know, was, a million people a month look at that page. Right. Who's going to start advertising? My question was, what percentage of your buyers choose fee for service, hourly rate, or commission? I would say self, they self-select into hourly, flat hourly. I. In the past decade, I have exceeded a 1% fee probably twice. So most of your clients work on an hourly? Yeah. Choose to work with you on an hourly? Yeah. And they're always $500 ahead. I owe, at the end of hour five, they pay for six to ten. But this is, you know, think menu of options. Don't get married to any single, any single option would be my suggestion. You guys have moved your fees. Yeah, we, well, I mean, because start, we started to offer the unlimited tours, and we found that our, our clients were just using more and more services, so we had to adjust our refund down to 50%. Um, I think we'll stay at 50%. I don't see that changing in the short term. I do like the idea of the menu of services. For us, though, we have this problem of we have this great website, ton of people on it every day, but so few people actually interact with Redfin. That, that, that's my 95%, and yes. And so it's like, what, yeah. how, do we, how, do we, how do we convert them into being right. a client? And for right. us, it's really offering that 50% refund. Yeah. Converts a lot of people that is, as that's, much as we talk about everything else. Yeah. I would agree that that is the hook. Yeah. So I, I, feel, I feel like if we went to the hourly service, we wouldn't have the same conversion rate hmm. from website visitor to client that we get by.